I've been making this every day since I learned it. This recipe is 100 years old. In a large skillet over medium low heat, add one drizzle of olive oil. Next, add one medium onion chopped into small cubes and stir fry until they begin to wilt. When that happens, add 200 grams of cherry tomatoes cut in half, one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of sweet paprika, and stir until incorporated. After that, add 200 grams of ground beef, and stir until the meat releases its juices and slightly browns. This is the right cooking point. Turn off the heat and set aside. Now, in a large skillet over medium low heat, add enough vegetable oil to fully cover the bottom. Next, add 900 grams of potatoes sliced into half moons, one teaspoon of salt, and stir until the potatoes are slightly golden brown. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. This is the right cooking point. Remove the potatoes from the hot oil and soak up the excess grease on a plate lined with paper towels. Once you've done that, in a medium bowl, add four full eggs, one pinch of salt, chives to taste, and mix with a fork until combined. After that, to arrange the dish, in a small baking pan with removable bottom lined with nonstick baking paper, add the fried potatoes until they fully cover the bottom. Next, add one half the egg mixture. The ground beef we prepared. If you made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. 300 grams of mozzarella cheese cut into thick slices. The rest of the potatoes, the rest of the egg mixture, take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 30 minutes. But keep an eye out, baking time may vary depending on the power of your oven. Once baked, remove the ring from the baking pan and transfer the pie to a nice serving plate. That recipe is ready, you may now get a slice and enjoy it. I really hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and will continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe, bye.